thank you for joining us this week on the program World of Art right here on your dialing station OGTV. This is where we bring you different experts in the world of art and together we explore the various branches of visual art and how it affects our everyday lives. My name is Miriam Usman. This program is brought to you by Prince Yemisi Shilon, legal practitioner, Africa's largest private art collector, grand donor and chairman of Cancer Yemisi Shilon Museum of Art. Our guest on the program today is Ola Dakwa Folanyo, and together we are exploring the importance of stone sculpting in Nigeria and in our everyday lives. Now, due to popular demand, we're bringing you this interview, which we've had before with Ola Dakwa Folanyo on the program, and we were trying to bring the importance of stone sculpting on the program today. Now, we'll go on this break, and after which we'll bring you the interview. Please stay with us. Area is synonymous with wood carving. Actually, Oye Kiti experiment of Father Kelvin Caro experiment, mm. the product of that stone museum. Mm. Whole mountain is reduced. Whole mountain is reduced to a portrait of their president. Mm. So that we actually need. I, I look around. I wasn't seeing anybody in the stone. Doing it. Mm. But uh, I remember Baba uh, Badamasi Olokuta in Oshobo traditional, uh, 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 you know, how the workshop generated artists. Mm. And of it's not uh, uh, so pronounced. So I took it up. Mm. I took it as a challenge. I you studied it at outside school. What did you do to bring yourself to this? Okay. Mm. I want to believe that I was gifted. Okay. Because my primary school in OC uh, community primary school, I can't work in speak arts and work. Mm. Why others would go and buy brooms and uh, uh, do crafts? Mm. I calf work in stick from my primary school through the secondary school at OC Central Secondary School. I calf, you know, so I, uh, they, they used to call me a first school art. Mm. You know, in the community, I was known for Popular. that. Mm. And now, Bamidele Arugu Studio, it was just this behind my grandpa's house. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a small Maratana window that overlooks his studio. I could be there for 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 hours. So on getting to uh, the university, I if I, I was resolved, even oh, before getting to that, mm, I'm mm, going for for mm, sculpture. Mm. First degree, I specialize sure. in sculpture. Mm. Then my master, immediately after my NYC in, in uh, Nazi Daji, I felt I should go back. Up in the north. In the north. And I, I opted for, for stone because of this, you know, uh, lacuna I, in, in, the, in the scene, mm. you know, art scene. Mm. I wasn't seeing anybody. And by experiment, I, I selected a, a variety of stones in Nigeria across north and south, and I produced works. 
So most of the things I did was experimental. I, I discovered stone sculpting, the techniques, and I read so much about it. I visited a Wede factory in uh, Shogule, but then there's a secrecy mm. behind it. Mm. The ACA people don't be, even believe that uh, those stones images were carved. They believe it's natural. It's natural or the gods. Yes, so that, that really brings me to our candy. You can't glue a oh stone my together. God. <laughs> then a collector came into my studio in mm. Auchi and yeah, I fly why not finish up this for me? And saw the other half. Why not finish up this? And I did just that. And behold, I sold them. How, how did you finish it? I just dressed Designed, okay. it. So with that, I now developed a mindset that until the, the work is finished, it's not finished. So I dialogue with my stones. And over the years, I've been able to... You dialogue I with dialogue. stones. Interesting. So dialoguing with stones, what comes out finally becomes the final piece. So your dialogue with the stones is trying to understand what it needs yes. to come out well. Yes. Interesting. So okay. I have an idea. I'm trying to bring it out. And as I carve, the stone might give way one way. And because of that, I decide to, okay, so how would I achieve a pleasing form mm -hmm. at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. So I walk on. So I was no longer discouraged by the splitting rock. And the nature of our boulders in Nigeria are uh, actually, you know, because of the mining techniques, mm. they drill and blast. Yes. The more cracks you have on the boulder, the better for them because they will still pulverize it. They will pound it to, to, to powder. It's the chemical for pigments, for toothpaste, for uh, uh, cement, mm. you know. So the better for them. But for us as sculptors, no. So that's the difference. When, when I traveled out, mm. I was in Pietro Santa and I was in Carrara Mabu. You see, it's like going to a sawmill and asking for, give me two by two by, you know, dimensions. Yeah, and, so you can get stones like that. You know, and they, they deliver it in the studio. Wow. That, we don't have that yet mm. in Nigeria. Mm. Dimension stone is nil for now. I think, because, I think that's because people are not paying much attention to that aspect of art, which That's is why we need to talk about it, like what we are talking about it on the program now. Yes. Now, we have some of your work here. Mm -hmm. there's, there's this one that has this image of, uh, like you are hugging someone, yes, kind yes, of like yes. to say something to the That's person. That's when you see was calling. Well, it looks very yes. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I want to ask, what, how did you come up with this? Did you have to like sketch? Yes. Did you have to use something to paint? And what kind of tools it's, do you use for all of this? You see this piece in mm -hmm. particular. Yes. The very morning, uh, I've been discussing challenging engineer Yonisi Shalon mm. to, to have garden pieces. I said, can you, you know, it was a challenge to me. I said, okay, bring sketches. That same morning, I was going to his place in Maryland. I sketched, I said, ah, go, uh, you know, he opted for, for the piece. And I went to the quarry selected the boulders, and took to my studio, angle grinder, diamond cutter, hmm. and I started, you know. What is that, the materials you those use? Those are the tools that, you know, I used in those, uh, 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 most of these works. But now, my trip to Italy has advanced my equipment hmm. using the pneumatic armor. They call it Martello. That makes it easier. Makes it easier. You see, the technology over there, where you carve, you have chisel and hammer. You are hammering, boy, boy, boy. And sometimes you bang your hand. Yes. You know, several I've, I've I'm used to it. But then... Your hand is probably very strong so now. I mean, now, used to. but then, when I got there and I saw Martello, 
my fellow, you see road walking, uh, road, road constructions, you see them cracking rocks. They, you know, over there, they have so developed that air armor, which is just like uh, a, a toothpaste size of armor. It's not even heavy or no longer wow. In fact, you can now carve even nails you can be around, the, around the fingers. The in that the the tube. Okay, we have a caller. Okay. Let's take this call. Thank you, Idom, for joining us. Oh my god. Ido, please try and reach us again. And please let me remind you that you can join us on the conversation via our social media handles. When you call, please try as much as you can to turn down the volume of your T V set. That's the only way we can communicate with you clearly. So you're saying something about uh, so the pneumatic tools. Hmm. You just have a cylinder sizes and you can you can just the inside the, the cylinder you have the hammer, you have the spring hmm. and the hair is passed into the compressing machine is hello you know you have to switch on. Okay, we have another caller. Okay. I know that well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Do you have a question for our guest? This I need for VA. Okay, please go ahead. From Erua. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, Mr. Polanyi, well done. Thank you very much. Please, how do you transfer your work? Okay. Thank well. you so much for your question. So we're, we're going to come. We're going to come to that that aspect. Okay. I mean, I have that in mind. Too. Okay. Yes, okay. but just before you answer that, go to Alchi. Go and bring my stones, and we have coin it, put in the bucket. We have already prepared the day. Let's take this to okay. Ido. Ido, yeah. thank you for joining us again. Okay. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Go ahead with your question. Okay. Thank you. Afternoon. Yeah. My senior brother. Thank you so much, Ido. I yeah, think Ido uh, is trying here. to. From day one, I'm from Osi. Are you yeah, from Osi? Okay. Ah, interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, thank you know. for watching World of Art. So, you know, I'm also concerned about how long it takes to make your piece. Okay. Uh, considering the time, it's not something you do. Yeah. Uh, you have to even sleep over it. Since I dialogue with my boulders, <laughs> I could walk on a piece, another if I is evolving, is it will evolve over a month, two months, sometimes even a whole year. Mm -hmm. When I see a piece like this one, I can still revisit it. Yes. And still work on it. Mm. Until it is finished, it's not finished. But do you always have your work on big stones? Does can you have like a portable or something? Uh, I, like have some, I have so some I have some portable but the problem with portable is that this, the boulder is small. Actually, you have to have a sizable boulder and walk from outside inside. You are knocking off unwanted parts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, to get to the desired form. Mm. There are some that are smaller pieces like that. And with modern tools, as a matter of fact, there's, there's what I discovered, that there's digital sculpting. Hmm. My last trip to, to, uh, to Carrara, Avenza, oh, robotic marble cans hmm. in uh, Carrara at Akede. Yeah, talking about marble, I was going to ask you, do you use all kinds of stones, stones. for your sculpting? Hmm. And then maybe you use that to wrap up on the program because a lot of people would, I think there's this one question that a lot of people would still want to ask. Why should we really consider um, stone sculpting in our society today? I mean, this conversation is to, you know, awaken people's consciousness to this particular set or this particular part of art. Mm. Yes, yeah, so why should we really pay attention to? You see, of all arts works, 
eh, I will not pull down any. God forbid. If a, a, a stone piece is in a house and the house caught fire, you will come here and carry your stone and dust it off. Mm. That others, most, most likely, you will not, you can't recall, you recollect all those ones. Now, stone, medium, is lasting, is durable, is, is like a, a bronze, mm. like iron, you know. But this one is solid. With much heat, the bronze will, can still melt. And but this one, it will take, you know, higher temperature or heat to get it damaged. At most, it will crack mm. the surface. Mm. Then you can see, recover it. I'm also not trying to take sides, but I, I think uh, the expression is, I don't know, I think you can understand the expression better with your mode of, I mean, look at this picture right now. You could understand the expression behind this, uh, this word. This, this, this artwork on its own. So I'm going to ask you because we have a final question from um, Facebook. How can I learn this form of art? Another person is asking, how expensive is your piece of work? This is from Shola on Facebook. Okay. Uh, the works uh, are very cheap. I'm more interested in your interest. If you have, like, A.M. is you know, interest in my piece. Uh, my passion for it is to satisfy the people. Though money is also needed for me to develop and sustain, I'm, I'm still relatively cheap. Uh, now, uh, training, we have schools. All students who pass through our Chief Polytechnic, uh, they must have stone and wood before you graduate. Time is not back. Oh I, I mean, God. there's so much we, so, we have then to get workshops. Your final words on the program okay. now. We also have art workshops. Uh, Bruce Onomba Sawyer Matan workshop series. Many people have been exposed to stone workshops. I organize uh, stone workshops, even in OC, and uh, we are thinking of doing that uh, more and more. If you are interested, get in touch. If you are interested in any of the pieces, I have some uh, garden pieces. Some of those that you are seeing, mm. they are also waiting for collection. Mm. We we'll just agree and it's transported to your Thank to you, your thank you. Thank you so much mm. for coming on the program today. Thank you very uh, much. I say this is a big congratulations to the um, art industry. And yes, your final words on the program. Uh, I want to appreciate Engineer Shalom. He's been my patron, and what he is doing in the art world through this program is commendable. Exposing the Nigerian artists to the audience, the wider coverage. A lot of people by this program now know that there's somebody who is carving stone. There are people who, doesn't, who, who, who are not aware yet. So I, I, need, uh, I want to appeal that uh, it should be extended <laughs> eh, beyond Ogun State. All right. Though my wife is from Ogun State. I, be, I believe he's watching uh, right now. Yes. Are all watching. My wife is, uh, is Ogun. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And she's also a textile fashion. In fact, she has PhD in fashion. Thank so, you so much. Uh, so it much should be coming. extended to other areas of the, of the nation. Thank you so much. Thanks for SME Ogun. And uh, the people who, who are behind the scenes. Yes. And uh, to you. Thank uh, you so much for coming on the program.